Salutations, crustaceans! I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be reviewing the Harley Benton MV4 MSB Goto. Let's do this. This is the brand new Harley Benton MV4 MSB Goto, part of Harley Benton's new modern vintage line. This is a really cool budget Mustang style bass, and one of the cheapest PJ Mustang basses that you can get on the market right now. And just like its jazz bass and PJ counterparts, it is feature packed for sure. Though it is missing one key feature that some of you may be irked about, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. First, let's go over the basic specs of this little base here. This base has an alder body finished in a beautiful burgundy mist, and there are a bunch of other classic colors available, like a Daphne blue, seafoam green, shell pink, a black, and I think a sunburst. But yeah, there's a load of different colors here, and they all come with the Tort Pit Guard and the Alnico 5 Roswell P and J pickups. The J is a single coil, so you will get a little bit of noise in a noisy electrical environment like what we have here with the lights and the computers and stuff. But overall, a nice sounding pair of pickups, just like what we had with the MV4 Jazz Bass. The bridge is a Fender style Sung Eel bridge with brass saddles, a very good looking bridge, especially with this burgundy mist finish. And we have a Tort Pit Guard here next to our control plate that houses our master volume and master tone control. Now you may be asking, hey Lobster, how do you switch between the pickups? You don't. There is no pickup selection on this bass. You just have the two pickups wired in parallel to the volume control and then your master tone control. Moving up to the neck, we have a 19 fret roasted maple neck with a laurel fingerboard. The fingerboard is bound all the way around the neck and we do have white fingerboard inlays as well. The nut is a graphite nut and we have a 38 millimeter nut width. The website listed as a 41.3 millimeter nut width, that is a typo. It is a 38 millimeter jazz style neck with a D-shaped profile. Overall, very comfortable. And then moving up to this headstock, we have a painted headstock facing on this roasted maple headstock and four Goto tuners. These are made in Japan, premium tuners that are very nice and great to use on this base. They hold the tune very well, but also are very easy to articulate. They're not stiff or anything, really premium tuners on this budget base. We also see a triple string tree as well as the metallic Harley Benton logo here, which is also a nice premium touch. Now let's go ahead and turn this base around. Around back, there is not much to see here as this is a passive instrument. We can see the beautiful burgundy mist finish, the four screw neck attachment, just like a regular Fender style instrument, and the back of this roasted maple neck with a rose acre skunk stripe. And then moving up to the back of the headstock, we have the four Goto tuners. Now, just like the jazz bass, I have to ding this bass for not displaying its country of origin on the headstock or anywhere on the bass. I do believe these are made in China, but it does not show it on here. Now, weight was a big consideration when looking at the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto, which was the jazz bass, and that weighed in at around 11 pounds. Is this also the same style boat anchor? Not really. For a short scale base, it is on the heavier side, but this particular example comes in at eight and a half pounds, actually closer to 8.6, 8.7 pounds, but still relatively lightweight overall. And how much does the Harley Benton MV4 MSB cost? These come in at around $205 in December of 2022. I know the prices fluctuate a little bit, but these roughly come in at around $200, give or take. And like with all Harley Benton and Toman purchases, I do recommend purchasing more than one instrument at a time to save on shipping costs. I purchased this one by itself and shipping was around $80, but I've purchased three instruments before and had shipping come out to around $120 total for all three. So purchasing multiple instruments can definitely save you a little bit on shipping overall. But yes, at $200, $205 plus shipping, this is the cheapest Mustang style bass out there before you start getting into the Squire, uh, Bronco, and Music Master style basses with the single pickup. I know that the Squire Classic Vibe Mustang comes in at around $450. However, that only has the single P pickup and does not have the J pickup here. The Fender Player Series Mustang is a full-size PJ setup. However, that is significantly more expensive than this little bass here. But the Fender does give you the option to select the pickups where this does not, at least stock. 
We will be modding this and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But now I know you're wondering what this bass sounds like. You know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So that is the Harley Benton MV4 MSB. It is a short scale bass, but it's not short on tone. Just like the Harley Benton MV4 JB, these are a little bit more treble heavy and not super heavy on the lower mids. That being said, I do think this little bass does sound great and is going to be a great mod platform. I also mentioned that there is no pickup selection here, so we have these PJ pickups always on all the time. We have a master volume and master tone control. Uh, what you've heard thus far is with everything 100%. Let's play this one more time with the tone all the way up and then we'll play with the tone control a little bit. Now let's go ahead and take the tone down to about 50%. I think that's where this bass really sounds best. The tone control is really effective and isn't just an on and off switch. And I feel at 50% you're taming the highs a decent amount without making it too muddy. Here's what that sounds like. This is a fun little bass. Now here's the tone down all the way. Now let's take the tone back up and grab our pick. Here's what this sounds like with a pick. <laughs> take the tone down to about 50%. <laughs> and here's the tone all the way down. Let's take the tone back up one more time, put our pick away, and let's give this bass a slap. Let's take the 
tone down to about 50% and slap it one more time. <laughs> And finally, let's take the tone back up to 100% and throw some drums behind this bass. Now before I put this bass away, one thing I do want to talk about is balance. Now in the lap, you do get a little bit of neck dive. However, let's try this out with a strap, both sitting and standing, and let's see what happens. Now for the purposes of strap testing, we are going to be using a crummy strap. We are not going to be using a high quality padded strap. I have one of those which I use on gigs and stuff, and it is very nice. However, for strap testing for balance, I want to use the worst case testing scenario here to see how this bass balances with a crummy strap. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so in the lap, It stays put, standing up, it stays put. Absolutely no balance issues on a strap. So here are my final thoughts on the Harley Benton MV4 MSB Goto. Overall, I think this is a very compelling, a little short scale bass package, but it is missing one key element, and that is the pickup selection. From what I understand, Harley Benton did this on purpose, but I do think that having the ability to solo the P pickup is a very desired thing for someone getting a short scale Mustang style bass like this. This bass knocks it out of the park in pretty much every other category. The fretwork and the neck is magnificent, the tuners are awesome, the finish is gorgeous, the fit and finish of everything is really nice as well, especially for the $200 plus shipping price tag. So overall, I am very impressed with this, but it is missing the mark on the pickup selection and I think that is a big deal. But even then, compared to a Squire Bronco, which this is very close to in price, I would choose this 10 out of 10 times, I gotta say. So what am I going to rate the Harley Benton MV4 MSB Goto? Ugh. I'm gonna rate this bass three claws out of five. This is an absolutely magnificent bass in so many ways. I think that the color is gorgeous, it's well balanced. I think it sounds pretty good with the stock electronics. And the stock hardware is very high quality for the $200 price tag for sure. However, being unable to select your pickups on a PJ bass like this definitely makes this bass lose some points for me, for sure. That being said, you know we're not going to keep this thing stock, right? We are going to be utilizing a DiMarzio push-pull pot in order to allow us to solo the P pickup. So we'll have the options of PJ together or just the P, while still maintaining the stock appearance. I also forgot to mention all of these MV4 basses, the Jazz bass, the PJ, and the Mustang bass come with these little tug bars underneath uh, the pickup on the pickguard here. I always take them off. I'm not going to really mention that. I mean, I wouldn't consider that a feature, and it takes two seconds to remove with a screwdriver, but it is something I just wanted to note that, you know, it does come with that little vintage-style tug bar. I have a little pile of them, like, right here, because I hate them. <laughs> but they're there if you like them. 
But yeah, stay tuned for future content with this little Harley Benton here. I actually really like it a lot. We are going to be modding it with a new bridge, a new set of pickups, as well as some flat wounds to get some vintage thud out of this thing. And we will be doing that push-pull mod to allow us to solo the P pickup. But that will be in a future video, so keep an eye out for that. But let me know what you think about the Harley Benton MV4 MSB down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Harley Benton MV4 MSB Goto. And as always, until we groove again.